welcome to phase two of the Stuck in a Rut series. I've been procrastinating for a while on recording this video, however, I decided to not be a perfectionist and uh, be very honest about me being a newbie at doing YouTube videos and just doing it, right? Doing it anyways. So if you're already here watching this video right now, you've probably already watched phase one, which is the reset phase, where we talk mostly about eliminating distractions and eliminating all of the inhibitors in your life so that you can empty your cup from the bad habits first so that we could create that clean slate, clean canvas for us to set good habits in place. So assuming that you've already applied phase one, congratulations, you probably already removed like 80 to 90% of the inhibitors and the distractions in your life. You're probably already removed like the bad habits and stuff. You already feel so much better in your body. You already feel so much more energy during the day. And you feel like you're ready to start doing something more. And now it's time to start setting habits in place that are going to be getting you closer to your goals every single day. But we both know that setting habits is not as easy as it sounds, right? You probably tried to wake up super early before and you've done it for a couple of days and then you stopped and you quit. You probably tried to sign up for the gym membership and you went to the gym for like a couple of times or a week or two or even a month or two and then you quit. We all have these moments in our lives where we set habits we set routines in place but we fail to follow them and the reason why this happens is because we need to also create systems in place around these habits so that we can stick to them and do them more consistently so that we can build that momentum and with time it's going to be way harder for you to actually quit these habits than being consistent with them just so you know i'm not speaking in this video just because i watched a couple of videos about productivity or i read a couple of books about performance right i'm speaking in this video purely based on my experience because i've experimented in the past two to three years with everything you can find about productivity and performance and doing my best to get out of ruts and get out of hard periods in life on demand whenever i need to so that i can perform better in my business and in my life in general and what i'm going to be sharing with you today in this video is going to be purely based on my experience i've tried things that worked out for me really well i've tried things that didn't work out for me at all and the things i'm going to be sharing with you in this video are not any different some of them might work really well for you some other things might not really work well for you and you might need to tweak them a little bit however this is the most basic and most simple system that you can follow to troubleshoot your life and your performance and make sure you perform at the best you can because we're not speaking about complicated stuff we're focusing on the basics which is the most important thing you can look at when you want to start building momentum so let's jump right into it now the first thing i do as soon as i wake up is priming my mind in the morning now you might be asking yourself, what do you mean priming your mind? And the reason I do that, because as soon as you wake up, your mind is very vulnerable. So it's very easy for your brain in the morning to convince you to get back into bed, to convince you to sleep for 30 more minutes, to convince you to do some lazy things, or to even have a lot of negative thoughts and negative feelings that are going to affect your whole day and stop you from performing. And the most important thing to perform really good in your day is, first of all, to get rid of all of this shit as soon as you wake up, so that you can get into a good mental state and good momentum and be ready to crush the day and this might sound a little bit cringe for you but the first thing I do as soon as I wake up is I grab my airpods airpods pro airpods max whatever you have even headphones right and what I do is I listen to motivational music so it's, it's not what you think right it's not like this cringe motivational music that you you find on YouTube or affirmations and stuff like this it's more like podcasts of people that are speaking about their journey right these are the people that I look up to right? These are people that are speaking about their journey to success, how they struggled, how they had very hard times, how they got out of them. But in the background of this podcast, there is like some motivational uplifting music, right? So if you want to check this music out and check what it is, there's a YouTube channel that's called Motiversity on YouTube. You can follow this channel. I always listen to the same videos from them. And it's actually very powerful, not only because you need the motivation. I actually don't really need the motivation from them. What I really need is being surrounded for that like you know, 10, 20 minutes in the beginning of my day with people that are crushing it in life, with people that have very strong mindset, because that is contagious, right? So once you surround yourself with these kinds of people, whether it's first thing in the morning or whether you do it, I used to listen to these uh, podcasts and motivational videos in the gym as well. I still do, right? So just surrounding yourself for a couple hours a day with people like that, even if it's on the phone, even if it's in your headphones, right? It's going to allow you to perform so much better in your life and it's going to give you so much stronger mindset. I've even had moments where I just put my airpods on while I'm still in bed and my mind is still, I'm fighting with my brain. 
I want to stay in bed, I want to sleep more, right? And I just put my AirPods on, and as soon as I start listening to this, my mind, I, I can feel my mind changing. I can feel how my I'm getting more strong, and I'm getting more control over my mind, and I'm able to tell my mind, like, hey, dude, like, we're not gonna sleep, we're not gonna stay in bed, we're gonna wake up, we have shit to do, right? And it's very strong and it's very powerful. Once you do it consistently, it becomes like second nature for you. So now it's like I don't even have to think about it. As soon as I wake up, I put my AirPods on. And it's something I do every single day. So you should try this and you'll thank me later. So now that we're done with the first 20 minutes of the day, now it's time to put habits in place. So let me tell you this, most people, 99% of the time, they're always looking for these complex habits, complex routines, and complex ways to solve a simple problem that we always tend to overlook the basics. And what I've learned from my mentors after investing hundreds of thousands of dollars into my personal development and into my business is that no matter how much you complicate things, you can never outperform someone who's doing really good at applying the basics. So now whenever I face a problem, whenever I I feel there's something wrong in my life I always look back to the basics am I doing the basics every single day and then if that is not working usually that solves 99% of problems right but if that is not working then I look for an extra solution however if you focus on the basics every single day I promise you 99% of your problems in life are gonna be solved so what are these basics basically eat well drink water get some good sleep get some exercise and get sunlight these are the basics that you need to focus on. If you feel like you're in a rut right now and you wanna start putting habits in place, these are the first things that you need to be looking at. Do not add any kind of habit, any kind of routines, if these things are not in place. So let's get into the most important one of them all. Number two in our list for this video is gonna be sleep. Now we've already touched base about sleep in the previous video, right? I told you guys that I slept for a couple days before to reset myself. And at the same time, what I started doing is eliminating all distractions. So that includes everything that keeps you up at night, right? Like having your phone in your hand before you sleep in the bed and scrolling on reels, right? And all of these kinds of things. So eliminating these things gradually. So I assume you already eliminated these things. If not, then you have to go back to phase one and eliminate these things properly before you can start working on your sleep and start waking up and sleeping at the same time every single day. Now, if you've already done that, the only thing you need to do is don't eat like two hours before bed, turn off the lights, get your phone out of your fucking hand and close your eyes and pretend to sleep. This is how it happens, right? You just pretend to sleep in bed with the lights off for a while and eventually you're gonna fall asleep. And from my experience, the most important thing about fixing your sleep schedule is not your wake up time. The most important thing about your sleep schedule is your sleep time, your sleep routine, right? And trust me, you don't need all of these fancy sleep routines that you see on YouTube. What you just need to do is set a sleeping time for yourself. And at that time, no matter what you're doing, you just get everything out of your hand and you do exactly what I told you. Turn off the lights, get your phone out of your hand, close your eyes and pretend to sleep. Right? So this is what we want to be doing. And the reason why is because it's easier to control your brain when you're awake and when you're conscious than when your brain is half asleep in the morning and you're unconscious. Because in the evening, you have full control over yourself. You can tell yourself, hey, we're going to bed right now because we have to wake up early tomorrow because we have things to do. But in the morning, your mind has so much control over you. And sometimes in the morning, you can fail to give your brain orders and it's listening to you, right? Most of the time, your brain is gonna convince you like, hey, let's sleep five minutes more, let's sleep 10 minutes more, and you end up waking after two hours. So this is exactly why when I focus on my sleep, I just try to focus on the things that I can control, right? Which is sleeping at the same time every single day, and now my body is naturally going to wake up at around seven to eight hours of sleep. So once you set that time that you're gonna be in bed then and you set that sleep routine, what you wanna do after is make sure that the wake up time, the alarm time is actually 8.5 hours after that time that you are actually gonna sleep in, right? Because you're probably gonna need 30 minutes to fall asleep or a little bit more, that's fine, you're gonna get used to it. And then after that, you need like seven to eight hours of sleep. And once you have that in place, what I actually do is I don't set an alarm to wake up at a specific time every single day. I give myself a range. And the reason why I do that is because I don't wanna be very strict with myself because I know at different days, I'm gonna be have different energy levels. I'm gonna have different like sleep deprivation from the previous day or I'm gonna be more tired or less tired depending on what I did in the gym, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably need more sleep on some days than others. And that's why I give myself like a window to wake up. I give myself like two hours to wake up in these two hours. So if I wake up between four and 6 a.m. for me, that's actually really good. 
right? So if I wake up at 4 a.m., that's great. I hit the best number. But if I wake up at 6 a.m., that's still good. And what you can do for yourself is set hours for yourself that you know you can hit like 80% of the time. Because if you set hours that are very hard for you to hit, what's going to happen is you're going to be disappointing yourself every single day. You're going to be destroying that trust with yourself, that confidence with yourself. And what's going to happen is you're going to stop and give up on yourself. And this is why you want to set an easy target first in the beginning just so you can build that momentum build that confidence with yourself so aim for a range that you could hit like 80 percent of the time and as you do that more you could you know you could move the hours back if you want to wake up earlier or whatever you want to do now another two very important things i do as soon as i wake up to help my body have its natural sleeping rhythm is as soon as I wake up, first of all, I keep my like curtains a little bit open when I sleep just to make sure when I wake up in the morning, there's a little bit of sunlight coming in. So my body is going to get used to that natural sunlight that's coming in. And I'm going to be waking up with sunlight. So whenever the sun comes up, my body is going to be naturally getting itself ready to wake up. Another thing I do is as soon as I wake up, I try my best to get out of the sun. Not every day I do that, but I try my best to get out of the sun and get some sunlight on my skin and in my eyes. And that way, your body is getting used to getting sunlight and vitamin D at a specific time every single day. And your body is going to start waking up before that time so that they can get the vitamin D. And another thing you could do is just drink a lot of water as soon as you wake up, like one or two glasses of water. And that's going to kickstart your day as well and then help your body like start functioning properly. It's like a cold start right? So I really recommend you trying these things out. And once you try these things out, you've basically knocked out most of this list that we spoke about before. And now the only things that are left are nutrition, eating, and just exercise. So I hope this sleep stuff was helpful. And now let's jump into the food and nutrition part of things. Look, I don't care what you like to eat, but I personally believe in elimination. And this is what has been working very well for me in the past. And this is how I troubleshoot. Whenever things are going wrong in my life, I just eliminate. I eliminate everything, I add the things that I know 100% work, and then I start adding some things, extras, one variable at a time, and I see how I feel about it. I see how my body performs to it. And this is how I troubleshoot everything in my life. And this is how I want you to treat nutrition as well. Now, by no means I'm a nutrition expert, right? Go speak with a nutrition expert, do whatever you want. But for me, what I believe in and what I've experimented with is that number one, most of the food that we have access to these days is fucking garbage, right? So if you wanna eat clean, you have to avoid all processed food and all of these kinds of things and the second thing is that our bodies and our ancestors weren't eating every single two hours every single day right they were eating like maybe once a day or so or sometimes they go like two or three days without eating i'm not not saying you have to go extreme with this but i'm saying that if you're eating every two hours you're losing a lot of energy most of this energy that you could be using into your brain into your mind into into doing things that are productive in life is actually going to your stomach all day long especially if you're eating snacks while you're working and while you're doing things that's very bad for you and again i'm not a nutrition expert do whatever you want but here's what eating clean looks like for me so the first five to six hours of my day i don't eat i fast i only drink water i don't drink coffee and i make sure i don't eat anything not even a single bite right because as soon as i get some food into my system my body is going to start digestion and that is going to take energy away from my mind so what happens when i fast is i get a lot of energy in the morning so i have so much energy and i finish like two days of work in these five to six hours in the morning before i have my first meal so i really recommend you trying to fast for at least like the first three to five hours in the morning that gives me so much energy so much mental clarity and I just, I just feel so good in my body every single day because of that. But if you feel like fasting is too hard for you, that's totally fine. You don't have to overcomplicate it. All you need to do is just be mindful of what you put inside your body every single day. And don't be a perfectionist like me where you have to follow all of these great routines and great nutrition habits and all these kinds of things or else you will not take action on this. Just improve by 1% every single day, right? So you can watch a lot of videos about nutrition, all of these kinds of things. But the best thing you could do is just start eliminating. Start slowly eliminating. Eliminate deep fried stuff. Eliminate seed oils. Eliminate these processed foods, right? Just eliminating these is going to get you 80% of the results. So don't overcomplicate it. Just whatever you can imagine as eating healthy, whatever the definition of that is for you, just start doing that. So human beings basically need some form of exercise every single day to stay sharp. If you don't move, you're going to get depressed, especially as a man. But I can assure you, we're 100% not made to sit in front of screens or in offices every single day, all day long. Now, your perfectionist might be coming up right now and be saying like, hey, but I don't have time, but I'm working all day, but I don't have time to go to the gym. 
well, you don't have to go to the gym. You can start with 10, 20, or even 30 push-ups and then increase it from there. It doesn't have to be even push-ups. You could just do a morning walk, right? A morning run, whatever you want to do, whatever that form of exercise is for you. If you want to just go walk on the treadmill or walk outside, you know, walk in the park next to your house or even like wherever you want to do it, even if it's in the office, okay? So it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you move your body for like 20 minutes a day or so. Basically, when I started one and a half years ago, I couldn't even do 10 push-ups in one set, and now I can do 40 plus. This is basically my excuse to, you know, get my energy in the day and get myself into that momentum, but at the same time, I'm building an amazing chest and shoulders. So if you want to try that, I'm sure you're going to thank me later. After you're doing all of these four things, you can say that you have all the basics in place. And we really don't want to complicate it a lot in this video, especially in phase two, because this is already too much for someone that's just starting out. So the last thing that I'm going to add to our list today is that one thing that's going to hold all of these habits in place and help you stay consistent with them and know exactly why you're doing them every single day. And basically this is the sheet or the worksheet or the workbook, whatever you want to call it, that I look at and I read every single day when I wake up in the morning to remind myself of who I want to be and why I'm doing what I'm doing every single day. Because it's very easy once you're doing these habits every single day to fall into the mindset of like, why am I even doing push-ups every day? Because you're not going to be, most of these habits that you're going to put in place, you're not going to be seeing the benefits from them immediately. And this is exactly why I do this. And this is one of the most powerful things you can do in your life. So if you're going to stick to anything in this video, make sure that it's this one thing, because this one thing is going to help you keep all of these other habits in place. And again, my perfectionist brain is coming up. Up here and I wanted to make like a full-on video where I'm showing you that uh, sheet that I read every single day and I walk you through it and I help you create one for yourself right but I'm thinking probably most people won't even implement the things that I talked about in this video let alone doing this worksheet for themselves so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you briefly what this sheet looks like for me and tell you some resources on where you could look to build one for yourself however if you really want to look at my sheet specifically and have me create a YouTube video for you on how you can create one for yourself then comment the word work sheet under this video. I'm going to shoot you the link as soon as I make it. So let me quickly walk you through what this sheet looks like for me. Page one is basically a vision board. So there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to create a vision board, right? So don't complicate it. Create any vision board for yourself. Put pictures of people that inspire you, pictures of things that you want to achieve, and make sure that these are things that are actually achievable in the next year or two, right? So don't, don't aim for like a private jet and these kinds of things, because you're going to look at that and you're gonna remind yourself of how it's gonna be impossible for you to achieve that. So let's start with baby steps. So set the things that you can achieve in the next year or two. Now in page two, what I did is I put a list of the principles that I wanna live by. And this reminds me of which kind of person I want to be and which kind of person I look up to. And this helps me a lot with sticking to the habits that I set for myself. So I'm gonna read some of these principles for you right now. If you don't sacrifice for the things that you want in life, then the things you want in life ultimately become the sacrifice. Do what you say you're going to do. Adversity not only builds character, but reveals it. Every obstacle is an opportunity. Your inputs determine your outputs. This reminds me that the work that I'm putting in is gonna bring me the results that I'm seeing. And if I'm not putting in work, I'm not going to be seeing results, right? I'm not missing out. They are. This is related to the bike group and all of the people that are partying and having so much fun in their 20s. And I'm, I feel like I'm missing out. This eliminates the FOMO. I'm not missing out because they are missing out on building themselves up, right? Be honest and transparent no matter the circumstance. I share my truth and my story to show the real reality. I do what I'm supposed to do, not what I feel like doing. With that being said, once you have that list in place, don't overcomplicate it. Make it like maximum 10 principles and move on to page three. Page three is gonna be what your next chapters and next goals are gonna look like. So these are baby goals, right? These are baby steps. These are things that you need to achieve by the end of 2024, by the end of the year. So you can look at these as milestones by the end of a certain date. So what that could look like is makes five to 10K per month, moves out of my parents' house or move to a different new, better apartment or buy a new car or invest in my first mentor or lose 20 pounds. So whatever these goals are for you, just write down the most important goals for you until the end of 2024. So once you're done with that, on page four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some affirmations in place just to help you out through your day-to-day -day life. And the reason why I love affirmations is because as I say these things for myself, as I go throughout my day and I experience things and I, I like at some moments I experience something and I remind myself of a certain affirmation, right? Because it helps me a lot 
connect the affirmation and the person that I want to be in the future with the reality and reinforce reality for myself. And that's going to help these affirmations stick so much more. It's going to help you get to your goals so much faster. So I'm going to read some of my affirmations for you and I hope this helps. I hold no addiction or need for social media, caffeine, alcohol or any substances. I'm in full control of my character. I have an unwavering focus and commitment. When I lock into a task, I complete it. I am disciplined and I have bulletproof habits installed. I follow my daily habits because it's extremely powerful and breeds success. I am that people are honest and loyal to me because I give it in return. I am persistent and I never give up. I achieve anything I put my mind to. I am always in good shape because I value my health and I take care of what I put into my body. I have an unwavering commitment to exercising and being in the best physical shape I'm capable of. So once you're reading these things every single day, you know what happens every time you go to eat some fast food or eat some some shit food for yourself, or every time you, you have a specific task but you procrastinate on doing it, you're gonna remember what you read in the morning and you're gonna feel the incongruency between what you're reading in the morning and what you're doing throughout your day and you're gonna feel ashamed you're gonna actually do it, right? So every time I go to eat some crappy food, I remember I say to myself, I'm always in good shape because I value my health and I take care of what I put into my body. So when I remember that, I'm like, okay, so am I going to actually break all of the things that I say to myself and break that trust with myself and go eat some shit food for the sake of it? Or am I going to keep that momentum and keep working towards getting my goals? Right? And that's very powerful. I am that I invest all my money into myself. I invest in coaching, mentorship, and education because I understand that upgrading my skills will make me a 100x return in the future. This is very important. I literally do this until this day. I I only have like 30K in my savings account and everything else goes completely into investments. I invest everything I have into my business, into myself, into skills. I always do whatever it takes to achieve the things I want in life. I have no place for half-assing shit. I have an unbreakable mindset. No one can ever negatively influence my energy or mood. I am charismatic and I have a very welcoming energy that makes people drawn to me everywhere I go. This is for social life, right? I am that beautiful feminine women are drawn to me and want to talk to me. They give me approach invitations and put themselves in my way. And you're going to start noticing this. Once, once you read this to yourself every single day, you're going to start noticing this when you go out every single day. Because it's true. So with that being said, now you know what the whole process looks like, right? So page one is the vision board. Page two is the principles. Page three is some goals for yourself. And then page four is affirmations. Now, I don't want you to overcomplicate this. If you sit down, watch a couple YouTube videos and try to do this on your own, it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes to an hour to figure out like one worksheet like this one. And basically, you're gonna have something that you can read every single day from now until the next year. And as I said before, I'm thinking of making a full video breakdown on like breaking down exactly what this sheet looks like for me and how to create a vision board, how to create this sheet for yourself and what kind of things you should put into it so that you could utilize this strategy to the best you could. So if you want me to make this video for you, comment the word worksheet under this video and I'm going to send it to you whenever it's ready. And with that being said, let's summarize the steps that we talked about in this video. So what are we doing in phase two? We're starting to put these habits into your life in drip mode right and the habits are going to be first thing waking up in the morning and listening to that priming music so that you can get yourself ready to crush the day second thing is we're going to take care of sleep so that you can wake up and sleep at the same time every single day and feel very energetic and get that rest that you need right and we're focusing on the basics here and on top of sleep you're going to be getting good sunlight and you're going to be drinking enough water every single day and then after that we're going to be focusing on nutrition and exercise you're going to be eating healthier and at the same time you're going to be putting in some some kind of some form of exercise every single day doesn't have to be complicated if you want to go to the gym that's great i currently go to the gym three days a week but i still do push-ups every single day right so as soon as you have all of these things in place um, the exercise the nutrition the sleep schedule the sunlight the water basically the basics right and at the same time that priming music in the morning the last thing you want to put in place is this worksheet so that you can allow yourself to you know, um, solidify all of these habits and solidify everything you're doing in your life and remind yourself of why you're doing what you're doing every single day. Once you have all of these things in place, then this is what I want you to stick to for the next week, two, three weeks, whatever, however much it takes you so that you could feel that these things became second nature for you because these are the basics. I don't want you to think about these things like, you know, some complicated stuff that you have to do every single day. 
These are the basics. These are what every single person should be doing as the absolute minimum in their lives to perform and to have energy in life. Otherwise, you're going to be depressed. So once you're doing these, then we're going to talk about phase three, where we can increase the intensity and add some of the complex habits that are going to get you further in life. But with these things, that's going to already get you ahead of 99% of people. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you're going to apply it. And if you like this video, drop the like button, you know, give me a subscribe, whatever people say on these YouTube videos. I'm not a YouTube guy and I hope this is helpful. And I